can you kind of tell us what kind of loss that is? That's a that's a huge loss. Um, guy who's playing at a uh, very high level this season, um, you know, with with someone who's you know doing his, everything right, you know, with no matter no matter what you ask him, you know, he's doing it. Um, he always came in with a great smile on his face, you know, never complained about anything. And for him to go down and practice the way it did, you know, that that sucks. You know, I hated it for him. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be a tough loss for our defense because I mean, there's nobody who's you know, a ball hawk like he does. And, you know, he has great ball skills. He comes up the field when that's a mishap in the front end. You know, he's he's there to make the tackle. And, you know, that, that's going to be tough to find someone to um, to uh, take over his spot. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a tough loss. And I just, you know, I feel, I feel very bad for, for him. Is it even tougher for you guys seeing how well he was playing, especially over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, that's what sucks. Because he was, like I said, he was playing at a high level. And, you know, for a freak accident like that to happen in practice, you know, that's nobody want to get hurt in practice. You know, if you if you do get hurt, you know, you want to get hurt in the game. You know, leaving it out on the field, and that's that's what sucks, man. Um, you know, just hopefully, you know, just talking to him, he's he's in good spirit, and hopefully he can just come back even stronger, even better, and continue to be that ball hawker that you know that he is. Terry, you hear when these injuries pile up, people are trying to find a reason for injuries. Is it just that? I mean, it's the NFL. Do you think you guys are practicing on bad turf or something? Oh, let's say practicing with injuries. I don't know, Oh, but nah. I mean, I think it's a, it's a lot of things. You know, you you know with you know your body just beat up. You know, you just the game that we play is a very physical game, man. You know, your body. We're not robots. You know, sometimes your body tells you to shut down, and then people don't understand that. You know, when you're feeling an ache, you think that you can just you know tough it out, and then now you overcompensate, and then now you have another worse injury, but. You got to go out there. You got to perform every single day in practice. You know, we, I mean, we practice harder than probably any, any other team that we, you know that's in the NFL. You know, we do all the walkthroughs, all the reps, and you know, we play hard as well. So, you know, it's, injury is a part of the game. I don't think that you know you can control anything that happens, uh, but I mean, you can't go out there and you know practice soft and you know worried about injuries. You got to make sure that you can control what you can control. That it's you know just try to you know get better each day. Uh, on a lighter note, your running back is, is busted out. JT is just on fire right now. Um, from your perspective, on the other side of the ball in practice and camp, what's it like watching him figure it out and explode? And I saw you react to his touchdown run the other day. It's amazing. I mean, he's a he's an absolute dog. And you know, every time he get the ball, it's a big play. You know, that's I mean, JT has been great all season and. You know, a lot, I think the, you know people don't give him enough credit. You know, of all the things that he does. You know, Monday night, you know he catches a screen pass, go what 73, 83. Then he goes, you know, take a handoff and he goes 83 yards too. So he's doing it not just in a in the run game, but he's doing it in the pass game too. And you know, that's what makes him so very special. And you know, that's why he's one of the best backs in the league. You know, because of how explosive he is, and he get on the outside. There's nobody catching him, and you know he's he's very humble. That's one thing I love about him. You know, he comes to work every single day. And you know he's taking coaches, and you know when we're going against the pass rush, you know going against each other, you know we try to you know coach each other up, seeing you know what he see from me, what I see from him, and just you know coach coach you guys up. And that's one thing I like about him that he's he's willing to take that coaching, he's willing to go to practice and understand that what he had to go through, and understand that you know when people say something to him, you know it's nothing about hate, it's nothing about you know wanting him to fail. Everything people say, he wants to succeed, and he's taking all that in. And then when it comes Sunday, you know. You see what he does. Pointers, he gives you pointers. Oh yeah, of course. You know you got to. I mean, because when I when I rush a, pra- a passer, you know people, you know you know what they do. You know I'm a push pull long arm type of guy. So when I'm you know going against him, you know I'm teaching them things that you know I would hate a running back to do to me that he could do with other guys. So you know just trying to make sure each other be like be great teammates. You know make sure you're teaching while you out there playing as well. And he's like obsessed with rehab and prehab and all that in a way that not a lot of guys are that are second year players. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that from him? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's always in the training room. He always, you know, got some kind of machine on his body, you know, just trying to make sure he's taking care of himself because he understands what, what his role is. He understands that the running back, you know, you're going to hit probably 80% of the game. And, you know, that's why he's taking care of his body because he know he can't make no play standing on the sideline. And, you know, he's a, he's a competitor and he's want to be out there each play. There is. Before I ask my question, I'm going to ask you this first. Are you as explosive as you were no. last year? Okay. No, we're close. Okay. No, we're close. I, I, and it sucks. Yeah. I when I asked this question. So would you not having that same explosiveness due to the ankle 
is it just your instincts that are allowing you to <laughs> react to react and make the type of plays that you're making? Um, yeah. Um, I think it's instincts and just knowing what the offense is going to do. I mean, you've been I've been playing for four years now in the same system. You know, I done seen so many plays now that I understand where the ball is going to go. So now I got to I got to cheat my alignment. I got to find a way to put myself in position. You know, to make them plays and you know with the punch outs. You know, that's just me being me. Uh, but I think my biggest my biggest thing that hurts me if I I can't hit top speed. You know, I, anything in the box, you know, I'm fine because, you know, just quick, use long going, quick quick punch, stuff like that. But outside, you see it on every time I catch a fumble, I mean, get a fumble or interception, I'm running straight to the sideline because I know what I can do. I know what I can't do, and I'm not by the risk, you know, trying to go for a touchdown and somebody take a shot at the ankle. So just be smart there and understanding that, you know, I'm not as fast as I used to be right now. So, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Like it was like you could see what you want to do, but your body's just like not there. Is it kind of like that? Yeah, it, it does. Cause I can, like I remember um, Monday night playing against um, Buff. I mean not Buffalo, but Baltimore. Uh, they run QB power to the right. Usually when that offensive guard, I mean offensive tackle, jump up quick, I can kind of backdoor and kind of make the tackle from behind. But when I did at that time, I didn't have that same acceleration, and I get beat to the outside. He gained well 11 yards there, so. It sucks because you know what's going to happen. You know what player that you are. You know what you used to can do. And it sucks that you, you, know, you can't, can't go out there and make them plays. When you look at the, video, when you look at the videos, uh, the fumbles you've recovered and stuff, how, how mad do you get like, damn, ain't no way they would have caught me in the past. Man, I, I, get, I get pissed every time I watch it. Like the one against, um, the one against Miami, you know, that's a scuba score out of there. The one against Baltimore, that's out of there. That interception I had against um, – Last week, you know, that's I was supposed to be gone. And then you think about the two interceptions that I dropped. You know, the one against um, the Dolphins when I came back inside. If I'd have had that extra burst to get there, you know, I'd have been fine. And then in the home game against, um, I think it was maybe it was the Rams. You know, when I'm coming from the right side, going left. You know, if I had that extra step, you know, I can easily pick that and get ghost. Um, so it, it sucks. It sucks that I can't, you know, can't score on defense right now. But I'm fine with having seven takeaways in six, six games. You know, hopefully they'll mention me like they mentioned Diggs, you know. <laughs>